Uh, so yesterday I had like uh, the, pre the pleasure to present the results of a uh, Charter 2 study. It's uh, ECOGACRIN A253, uh, a cooperative group study that uh, examined the role of adding cabazitaxel to abirateron for patients who have developed castration-resistant disease after receiving docetaxel for plus androgen deprivation for metastatic castration-sensitive prostate cancer. Um, the study is a randomized phase 2 study. Uh, we enrolled uh, 223 patients, uh, randomized to two arms. Patients in arm A received cabazitaxel, 25 mg per meter square for up to six cycles, plus standard dose of iraterone and prednisone. Patients in arm B, which, is, which was like the control arm, received treatment with standard dose of iraterone and prednisone alone. The study showed a progression-free survival benefit of five months in favor of the patients who received cabazitaxel, um, with hazard ratio of 0.73 and the p-value of 0.049. So it's, it's a positive study. Um, other endpoints included in the analysis uh, were also in favor of the group of patients who received cabazitaxel plus abirateron, like PSA response and time to PSA progression. However, the study did not show an overall survival benefit from the addition of cabazitaxel, but still um, it, it's a small study uh, to show that and Probably patients who progressed on abirateron, they ended up getting cabazitaxel, it's like an approved drug, or other treatments. So for a study like that, it's difficult to show an overall survival benefit. Uh, the combination of cabazitaxel plus abirateron was overall well tolerated. We did see some cytopenias, uh, which are expected from the use of chemotherapy. Um, and also the, uh, the grade three and four side effects related with the treatment are very similar to, uh, to side effects that have been observed in other studies that included cabazitaxel. So overall, I would say that the regimen was well tolerated. Also about 77% of patients were able to complete all six cycles of chemotherapy, even though about 65% of patients required some, some treatment modification. However, I think the conclusion of the study, even though it's a positive study, over the last several years there have, there have been like a lot of changes in the treatment landscape and uh, the results of the study do not are are not like applicable in today's landscape um, i think that like this is not something uh, that we can take to clinic today simply because most patients nowadays they receive a second generation ar inhibitor whether it's abirateron or something else uh, in the castration sensitive setting and also, like, even if they receive uh, chemotherapy, like docetaxel for castration-sensitive disease, uh, that will also be in the context of a triplet therapy. So technically, these, with today's standards, patients who progress on and develop castration-resistant disease have already, like, uh, exposed to a second-generation androgen receptor inhibitor plus minus chemotherapy. So the results are not very relevant in today's practice. Nevertheless, we did confirm that cabazitaxel is active in that uh, setting. Um, we also saw that um, maybe like something, uh, one of the uh, take home points from this study is that maybe like an earlier intervention with cabazitaxel in that setting might be beneficial depending on how patients do on abirateron alone. So this is like something that will need to be explored in a future study, but I think that there is some evidence supporting that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.